The Aztec people lived in what is now Mexico. According to their legends, the world had been destroyed and remade many times. They say that after the fourth world was drowned in a great flood, the gods remade it as the fifth world. The new world was fertile and beautiful, with mountains and rivers and seas and animals of all kinds, but no people. This world needs humans who will worship us, declared Quetzalcoatl the feathered serpent god. He decided to create them using the bones of the people who had lived before, in the fourth world. The only problem was that the bones were in Mictlan, the Aztec underworld. It was a dark and scary place, but Quetzalcoatl was brave and determined. He summoned his dog-headed brother Exolotl, and they ventured into the underworld together. The two gods explored the gloomy realm, and after many adventures they outwitted the lord of Mictlan and managed to escape with a chest full of bones. Quetzalcoatl and Exolotl were relieved when they reached the surface and could see the sun again. The brothers went to the sacred place of Tamoanchan. While the rest of the gods looked on, Quetzalcoatl used his powers to turn the bones he had found into living, breathing human beings. The people he created went out into the world and found places to live. However, they were pale and weak, for they had only roots and berries to eat. They asked the feathered god for help. We are hungry, they cried. Please give us tasty and nutritious food so we can grow strong and build great cities. Quetzalcoatl looked everywhere for new food for them to eat. He searched in the fields and the jungles but could not find the ideal ingredient. Then he saw a red ant crawling along the ground. And in its jaws was a golden kernel. Where did you get that? Asked Quetzalcoatl in amazement. Oh, I cannot tell you it's a secret, said the red ant. Quetzalcoatl was the god of the sun, the wind and learning, and he was determined to get an answer. Don't be like that, he rumbled. The humans that I have created need food, and the thing you are carrying looks very tasty. Tell me where I can get some more. I'm sorry, said the ant. I didn't know that the humans are hungry. This food is called corn. It comes from a plant that grows on a distant mountain called the Hill of Our Sustenance. I will take you there. Quetzalcoatl could take the form of any creature, and he transformed himself into a black ant. He followed the red insect through jungles and across rivers and hills until they reached a high mountain. The two ants climbed all the way to the top, and there they found a beautiful garden. Beans and squashes and cocoa and tomatoes and peppers grew in plenty. In the center were tall plants with tasseled cobs and pointy flowers. It was corn. Quetzalcoatl gathered many different colored kernels from the plants before climbing back down the mountain. When he returned to where the humans dwelled, they were so weak from hunger that they could hardly move. Quetzalcoatl boiled some corn kernels to make a tasty porridge and fed it to the humans. This food was very nutritious, and the people soon regained their strength. They were most grateful to the feathered god for saving them. He gave them some of the kernels that he had gathered. Plant these in the earth, he said. Then you will never go hungry again. The people did as he told them, and soon corn plants sprouted in their fields. When cobs of corn grew, the humans took the kernels and ground them into flour. The people used it to make dough. They shaped it into flatbreads and baked them over a fire. The humans called them tortillas, and they became their favorite food. Corn was soon planted all over the Americas, and the people prospered. The Aztecs came up with many new recipes and delicious foods, but corn was always their most important crop. Whenever they enjoyed this tasty treat, they gave thanks to Quetzalcoatl for his wonderful gift.